Abdul Rahim is one of the best around, you know, um, big, gets him off quickly. Uh, he's a tough cover. Uh, and they have, you know, Hill is another guy that shoots well from the perimeter. Uh, Demery doesn't shoot a lot, but he's shooting a high percentage. Um, you know, so this is a game where we got to be really mindful of our three point defense for sure. Looking back on the game, is there anything that you think that could have been prevented to make the game as close as it was the other day? Uh, you're talking about Mississippi State? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I just I didn't think, think we were. Said, you know, we could have done that. Yeah, we just weren't uh, aggressive enough attacking the press, you know. And I think it's uh, a little bit human nature, you know, when you get a 17-point lead, eight minutes to go, and uh, you, you don't want to take too many chances that you know open up opportunities for the opponent. But you know, Mississippi State, to their credit, knew their back was against the wall in that moment, was taking a lot of chances and, and being really aggressive defensively. Uh, you know, once we broke the press, I didn't think we were aggressive enough attacking them in the half court. And, uh, you know, they just got some transition opportunities off of our misses and made some threes. And, uh, you know, against good teams, you're going to go, there's going to be runs both ways. You know, we had a 13 to 2 run in the first half of that game that opened it up a little bit. Uh, they had a 10 0 run on us that tightened it up in the second half. And uh, with all that being said, you know, I thought we did a pretty good job of, you know, staying poised. And in that one possession where, uh, you know, they had the ball with down six, two possession game, you know, we, we forced a shot clock violation and we came <clears> down, made free throws. and. It never got tighter than that. So, um, yeah, I would have obviously preferred to keep that lead above 10 the whole second half. Um, but with that being said, you know, I thought we did a good job of handling that little bit of adversity in the second half. How's Walter doing? He's good. Uh, everything came back clean. Uh, had a good workout yesterday and uh, a lot of really good practice today. The last couple games you've shown ability to close teams out. Yeah, they're just getting better. You know, I think uh, as you know, we, we forget a little bit about how up and down our rotation was early in the year, not having Zion the first three games, not having Micah the next three games after that. Um, you know, it just, it was tricky for us to kind of get some continuity going. Obviously gained some through December um, and lost a tough one early in Kentucky, but since, you know, since then I've been playing pretty well, especially on our home floor. And, uh, you know, obviously the Missouri game on the road gave us some confidence that we can, you know, win in a hostile environment, but we've been knock on wood pretty good in our gym all year, you know, so coming back home again, uh, after Wednesday's game, you know, we, we feel pretty good. You know, I understand we respect Georgia. They're a good, really good team. Um, but, you know, we're, we're feeling confident in ourselves as well right now. Zion's ability to handle ball pressure in the SEC, how big has that been? You know, I guess he's among the leaders in the assisted turnover ratio and stuff and everything like that. How yeah. important is that? Uh, it's, it's incredibly important, you know, and he's done a fantastic job. But really, our whole perimeter has done a great job taking care of the ball. You know, our whole team. Uh, it's been a big strength of ours, you know, over the last couple of weeks. And uh, if you can take care of the ball in this league, you're going to give yourself a chance. And there's a lot of teams that pride themselves on turning you over, and, and that's how they uh, generate offense, you know. Uh, so for us, you know, with seven turnovers last game, I think 10 against Missouri, it's a trend that I'd really uh, appreciate seeing to continue over the next couple of weeks. What do you feel like is key to improving three point defense recently and just to be able to take a step up in that regard? Uh, you know, I think we're, we've been a little more locked into the scout. First and foremost, making sure that we do a good job of, uh, you know, contesting the, the really good shooters when, when they're getting their opportunities while at the same time limiting opportunities for those guys. And uh, we haven't made as many, you know, tactical errors in terms of like strong side help, strong side digs, uh, kind of losing yourself in space, you know, watching penetration, whatever it is. Uh, you know, that was an issue for us early in the year. You know, one guy, Walter Clayton specifically, has done a really good job uh, kind of locking in to those assignments over the past couple of weeks. You know, Will has grown a lot that way since last year. So if we can get those guys to continue doing that, you know, I, th I think that's a trend that will continue.